Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Lathrix. In today's episode, in today's little jaunt through happiness and joy and wonderment that is the delicious Robocraft world, we're not really going to be building anything. We're not going to be doing anything pushing the boundaries of science and uh, making some form of abomination of beauty and absolute disgust. No, no, no. Today, we're simply going to play some games because, well... Occasionally, some people like me are actually in the mood just to play the game, so I thought I would record my experiences. Today we're going to be focusing on this lovely robot in front of us that is known as Flutter. I've had Flutter for quite some time now. I think it is actually, with the current destruction of certain robots, my oldest robot I've actually kept. Oh, there's the, the free pr uh, premium code in case you have not used it yet. But yes, so this is one of my oldest robots. It is a Walker Flyer. And of course it's only the oldest because I've because I have a habit of destroying and remaking robots. Its flight doesn't work as well as it did when it was first implemented, but it does indeed have the capability of quite regular flight. It's a Walker Flyer hybrid. It does exactly what you'd expect it to. It flies, it walks, and it shoots tier 9 uh, rails, which, once again, aren't actually over-tiered for the current tier it's in. It's simply the highest tier of rail you can get in tier 8. I believe, however I could be wrong with this, but I'm fairly certain it is true. It's a robot that tends to do pretty well, so I'm quite confident we're going to get at least one or two decent videos, particularly with the huge influx of, of helicopters and jets we're currently seeing, which is quite bizarre. The current influx of helicopters has spawned a, a, a influx of jets to counter them for some reason. But that's all just water under the bridge. The important thing is we can kill them, and that's exactly what our goal today will be. So back in a second of our first match, hopefully doing well, now I've talked up the darn robot. Particularly since I don't um, cut out games. Back in a second, sir and threats of our first match. And we are back for our first match, really hoping we do well to start off. It seems that in 99% of my videos, the first match goes abysmally, and then every other match seems to kind of follow a nice line of actually doing quite well. As you can see, the controls on this flyer probably aren't the best anymore. When it was first made, I swear this used to be so much better, but I think it's just showing it at its age. I've learned more how to design robots, and well... It's a bit of an antique now. It's an antique rail flyer. I'm gonna hide up here though until we, until somebody spots out where the enemies are. Oh, I saw a plasma heading that way. Ooh, that looked promising. That looked quite high. There's a good chance there's a flyer over yonder. I won't look up, so I don't want to accidentally give away my position now. That was a weird line. Cause it was you. Oh, oh, hello. There's a rail behind us on our side. Ah, there we go. Took out his his, uh, his rudder. Took out most of his body. And sadly, we didn't get the kill. But we did most of the damage, so at least we got honoured with that. Ha <laughs> ha! That rail was out of range. He should have checked by using the old Q trick. But you know, spotting the enemy, and if you can't spot the enemy, then they're out of range. Something I learnt very quickly, and I was so glad I did learn. So many wasted shots no longer taken. Got heal. Oh, got healer, excellent. So I may have noticed me in chat. Oh! Incoming everything. Hello, smiley face. You always know to laugh, Rick, if it's, if it's an hello, smiley face. Oh, and he smiled back, bless. Okay, let's see if we can take out this SMG. There's a medic behind him, but there's a chance we could just take out this SMG on the spot. We didn't, but I think my ally might have. Did he? No, it's just took him down to ridiculously low health. We're in a good position here for this fight. I think our team has won this, so I'm very happy with this fight indeed. Okay, didn't realise there was going to be a plasma up there. I was going to see if we could get there ourselves. Okay, let's go down with the fight then. I was going to use that cliff, but if there's a plasma there, we're in quite good position for him to just pick us, so... Rather not be picked up. There we are, a bit of damage to you. Darn! Stop fall! Why does every enemy fall after I shoot them? I think, I think it's the impressiveness of this, of this antique robot. It scares them. That plasma's probably going to try and go over the edge at some point. Oh, and we want to be in a good position to shoot him, so I think here is a good position. However, we are also vulnerable to him hitting us. It's very annoying. Now, it could be the brave souls we know we are, and go up there and fight him, or we could be the cowards I really know we are, and simply go and cap. Going and capping really seems to be the best idea here. Guaranteed, um, 
RP, which I am farming heavily at the moment, due to I still need to upgrade my Megabot quite a lot. Uh, someone's asking me. Yes, indeed. Aha! Ah, it's a walker jumpery thing. Excellent, there we go. Took out half his body. That should perhaps dissuade him from his current course of action. That really will dissuade him. I wish to answer that question. Yep, smiley face, and goodbye, sir. <laughs> we answered just in time. Two kills, one very stylish kill, one kind of desperate kill at the end. I was very happy with that match. That was a fun match. We got to do everything we wanted to. So let's get straight into another one, hopefully do as well, if not better. Showing off the old girl. Showing off that the old girl can still fight. Yes, you can, Flutter. Yes, you can. Okay, well, this is a weird one. I don't think I've ever... Have I ever been in Tier 8 and got into a boss battle before? I am not certain, but today that is exactly what's happening. Two SMGs, one Plasma, one Medic. I must say that's quite a scary proposition, but we are in Tier 8. So our armor should be able to take some of the brunt of the Tier 10 weaponry, and our allies and, of course, ourselves should be able to do some damage to them without too much of a concern, really. Just go for the weapons and hope for the best, really. Really go for the medic if we see him. We must try to hold our fire until we see the medic. However, this copter wants to reveal our position without spotting the enemy. Thank you, sir. Really helpful. So, ooh, plasma coming up from the skies. Okay, enemy spotted. Two of the SMGs are indeed spotted. They're not in range of my shots at the moment. Don't know who actually spotted them. Was it you? Must have been you. Plasma's over there, okay. Two SMGs in the middle, Plasma over there, no idea what the medic is. If he has any sense, he'll be hanging back because you should know that we are all after him with bloodlust in our eyes. Okay, going down to here. A bit closer, see if we can see them again. Hopefully they're still machine range. They've moved on, okay. Plasma is a walker. A little bit more concerning. Out of range, no point in shooting, just reveal our position. Continues to move forward a little bit. Don't really want to move out much further though, because right now I'm in quite a bad position. Any further, it'll be absolutely terrible. Ah, groups, that means so cowardly. We need you to come out to us. Please, our team, don't give in and go round. Oh, the the medic's been spotted. Yeah, the medic's been spotted. Uh, I think it's time for us to be a little bit braver. Let's jump onto here, because why not? If we can, there's a good chance we can't, because our turning. There we go. Our landing is a bit slow. Just crawl over the edge a little bit so our guns come out, or just do a weird twist, that's fine. Wow, our legs don't like that. Continuing onwards, oh, I want to help out, I don't want to be completely useless in this match. If we can hang off the side, we could try and go for the medic. However, the medic seems to be not really helping out this team much, which is rather nice for us to see. There we are. Oh, but bugger, 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 blast. I see the medic. There he is. There he is. Let's go for the guns if we can. Got his Tesla and one of his guns. Got another one of his guns. Done. Okay, well, we helped out at least. That's going to slow down their healing phenomenally. So the plasma is the only real concern I have because that can definitely get up here. That's a mega shielded SMG. That's a nuisance. If nothing else. Got one of his guns. Let's see. If oh, we need to get his last gun. Yes, the medic has been completely neutralized. We are truly. We helped out the team. Well, hopefully they won't go after the medic, but I could be asked to retype that out. Is that a Negra SMG? There we go, there goes a Negra SMG. I am the gun killer! No guns can hold up against Flutter. We hate you and your modern technology, sir. How do we kill someone with Mega Shields as a tier 8? I guess, again, just to go for the guns. Two guns on the side, let's see if we can pick at one down, hit the shield, hit the shield again. No, we hit under the shield, that's good, we hit something then. Ooh, go for the centre, if we can. Mm, damn, lots of shield damage. Did a bit of damage underneath though, perhaps we slowed him down slightly. Well, that was good. I feel very helpful to our team there. Spin! Flutter is victorious once more. Now, I, I have no idea how much RP I'm expecting now from a tier 8 boss battle. Well, challenge battle as it's called now. Well, how much? 32k? Uh, not too bad. Our last match got us 23, 24, so... Certainly not bad for the amount of time we was in there. And I'm sure if I was an SMG or something which, which could do a bit... No, 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 that's a lie. I'm sure if I was anything which could do a bit more damage, including a rail with some competence, 
we would have got a lot more. So that's pretty darn good, honestly. Two matches and two actually quite good matches. So back in a second for the third, hopefully not losing our streak. And we are back on the snowy peaks of the cursed map. Joy upon joys. Now, a past me in past lives would have gone straight for that mountain, walked up the mountain and tried to get a good position there. Future me, uh, okay, current me, will not do that because of the amount of times I've got either stuck in those rocks, even though they have definitely been revamped and are far less buggy, or have been gunned down by enemy flyers and rails doing the same thing on the other side. So I think staying here, waiting for any flyers to perhaps try their look over the ridge is probably the best idea. Don't know what you're doing, sir, but okay. We're going to get anything or we're going to have to go forward. Okay, it seems like there's going to be no flyers because those two are doing absolutely nothing. So we're actually going to go and do that. But I've kind of... Yeah, I'll kind of take the stance now that it's better just to wait for a short while. Really need to make this thing lighter. Just changing some regular blocks into prisms could be a good idea. Halving the weight would be rather nice, it must be said. But still, now... They've already lost two, we've lost one. So the fight's already raging on, I'm not sure where. Bit of a disgraceful um, dance there. Ooh, did I see a flyer? I saw it, I saw some, uh, it could have been our flyer, but I didn't see a name player above it. Perhaps I'm going insane. Perhaps I'm going insane. Okay, carrying on. Alley up. Honestly, this is the first time climbing this map since the change. This area doesn't look, look like it's changed at all. But that area is, wow, mega revamp. Perhaps the cursed map isn't cursed anymore to people who, who try and use the, um, the hill. That'd be weird. That'd be a non-cursed map. I don't like that. Out of range. Worth us taking a shot. We are ever, ever being capped. Would it be worth going back round? I think it would. I'm going to stay low, not fly, just because I don't want to make my presence too obvious. You know, flying through the air with this hulk of metal is a bit obvious. Honestly, so where are they? Not in range, really? Ah, oh, I thought I'd test a shot anyway. Damn it. Yeah, both are still out of range. I need to get a bit closer. I really thought that would be in range, honestly. That's kind of surprised me. Now that would definitely be in range on this cliff, however it's really, really vulnerable as I don't have to do anything to hit us. Okay, there we go, we can start distracting them. That's going to hurt, but I'm not going to move. So there's actually more than I thought as well. I thought there was two SMGs, but there's two SMGs and a plasma. Let's back off, turn around, and get back there when we can. But it's being useful to the team here, we're not doing anything for glory. We may end up dying. They're just firing blankly here because they know I'm here somewhere. Oh, that was a miss. Okay, there's an SMG walker there. Let's try and take him out if we can. He's on low health. There we go. Back off again. I think we're going to win. I think it's because of our valiant defenders. And I'm, not, I'm really not including myself there, because there's two SMGs which were doing this way before I even got here. Oh, dear lord. There we go. I need to change this robot so much. I can't see anyone. But he's being capped, so I'm just going to go down here. He's hiding behind this pillar, but I don't think it really matters. Let's have a look see where actually where he was, since the game's about to end. Oh, there you are. Oh, my last shot hit hit the gun in front. Darn. Yay for defense! Okay, I'm happy with that match as well, considering it's the cursed map, certainly. There's a lot of CPU damage done, okay. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, fourth match of the day, hopefully continuing with this rather pleasant series of games. And we are back. Fourth match, so far three really good matches. Let's see if we can continue that streak and actually get a fourth good match in a row. Probably one of my highest streaks of happy matches. So where to go? Well, there's the obvious place, which everyone's going to rush to most likely. Oh no, just the one plasma. Then there's the less obvious places, up there, around that corner, down there in the kind of middle centre there, which you can see both of the areas. I'm not sure which one I want to go for, honestly. Now there is that plasma there, which does indicate I want to go this way. Yeah, screw you. So, where are you enemies? <laughs> screw you. That's a very overreaction by me there. He shot me, it was very rude. I, I was meant to say it far more playfully, but it came out really, really aggressive. I don't know why. Okay, well he shot one person. It was a medic copter. Obviously, want to kill him as soon as we can, or at least take out his rotor blades. Oh, there you go. Completely, completely crippled him. However, there are lots of enemies now aiming at me because of my um, my destruction of their medic. Ooh, 
plasma copter. Damn. Reload, go back down. Okay, I think it'll be good if we jumped off and joined the other fight because this is a lost fight. Let's go. Oh, also off camera, just then before the match, I did equip some um, some downwards thrusters on the front on the front, so hopefully we can actually lower ourselves down a bit faster. Yes, we can. Okay, only tier two thrusters actually, so that was quite surprising. It was all we could afford without going into the next tier. Where's that medic? That medic's obviously going to the other medic. So he could try and finish off this medic so he doesn't receive any healing. If we can actually hit its body. There we go, excellent. There's an SMG over there hiding away. Let's see if we can shoot the medic. We did do a little bit of damage to the medic, but we mostly hit a shield. We did break the shield in the process and then destroy a lot of blocks behind it. Probably shouldn't do this because there's an SMG. Okay, excellent. There we go. Lovely jabbly. We are the medic and gun killer today. Okay, let's get, back, let's get back in the air. Oh, okay, we've lost on our back rudders. That explains a slight lack of lift on the back. And let's position ourselves so we can help defend. Oh, no, we've destroyed everyone. Excellent. Well, that was a rather fast and easy match, and we have flipped. Ah, as you can see, we do really need to alter this vehicle, and I think it's going to be... See, I can't decide. Sorry, I'm sorry. I really can't decide. I can't bring myself to do anything, because I can't decide between either completely scrapping it and replacing it with basically itself, but better, with a new flyer using a similar kind of concept, um, wings, thrusters, so essentially it's a plane with legs. Or, I could go down the other route, because I am going to do it eventually anyway, and produce a copter walker, so using rotor blades. The problem with rotor blades is, at least in my experience with trying to make it with rails, is the huge hitboxes, particularly if we go into a higher tier. This is only tier 8, and look at the size of the darn thing. And it doesn't like anything underneath it, or anything around where the blade little section is, which makes it very difficult to actually use on a rail. Now, it's not impossible, because I've seen some really good designs for them. It's just a matter of, it's going to be a bit of a difficulty, and a bit of a hassle to do. So I'm not certain which route I'm going to go down just yet. Okay then, but regardless of that, let's do our fifth match and our last match, because then it's Bayo 5, match 5. And hopefully we can continue with that streak. I'm really happy with, 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 with actually how I've been playing, honestly, today. I'm not too upset with myself, which is a rare thing. I don't feel like I've made any obvious blaring mistakes, and I feel I've done well to honour the memory and the current state of Flutter. So back in a second with probably the last match of the day. And we are back. You see, I keep seeing the regular old scarab design being used and rebuilt and remade in better and more exciting ways. And I am tempted to kind of use that myself. However, so it did dawn on me is a question I asked an, I asked a different day on a different term um, episode in a different light. Is a helicopter, well, how to, how, how to phrase it how I want to in my head. Well, this is way thinner than it used to be. Are helicopter rails viable? Now, I don't mean helicopter rail walkers. I mean helicopter rails. Just rails on a helicopter. Because some people swear they are. Now, in, even in the patch notes, there is a lot of disagreeing with this due to the rotor blades do have a form of turbulence when they're staying still, which makes aiming perfectly accurately a bit difficult. However, if, if you're looking past that, it seems like it is a possible, I don't know, possible idea for the future, a pure helicopter rail. So that's certainly something I'll look into in the future. If I do that, I think it will have to be four or five, honestly, perhaps a Penta um, rotor um, helicopter. So five um, blades, five rotor blades, just to keep it as steady as possible. Now, that's not going to be in range by any chance, is it? Definitely not. Okay. Would have been a wasted shot. Would have re would have revealed where we are, and everything would have been bad in the world. Seems like our team has skipped the enemy's team, which is a bit of a nuisance. Oh, that SMG is probably going to take out that. Yep, that was definitely a helicopter. You can tell by the sudden brick-like descent. Oh, that looks like it might be in range. It is excellent. Come on! Oh, I was hoping I could take out all of its rotors, but not quite. There's a plasma bomber on its way over, so let's back off a little bit while we're reloading and then try and get a good shot. That was a fast descent. That was a fast death. <laughs> oh my lord. One shot kill. It did kind of show its belly to us. Apparently not very well defended there. Someone's saying for help. Not sure who. Over there. Now, that enemy over there I think is crippled and essentially dead. 
I think it'd be better just to help out the team. However, I do want the kill. Oh, moral fighting. Okay, let's go help out the team. Interceptor, obviously taking a few shots at us if it can. We're not going to get hit here, but still, I don't really mind too much. That was just so he could back off, which he did. It worked. It did cause the enemy to back off. There we are. Is that same enemy still hitting us? Yeah, we're fine. We're not taking much damage. We're quite tanky on this vehicle. And honestly, once we get our stuff back, we're going to hurt them. No, we're not, because he's gone. Oh, he's over there. Okay. But we're in a bad position right now, honestly, because we are kind of in the middle of everyone bad in the world. So let's just get back to our teammates and actually get a nice, um... Ooh, hello. Sorry, sir, I am standing on you, but that's because I want to take a good shot. Okay, there goes one of his rudders, uh, rotors, rather. Sadly, nope, didn't kill him. And we could have been hit very easily then, we didn't move. Which is very silly on my part. Let's see if we can try and keep them at bay. Are we being... Ah, no, we're already being hit. I was going to say, perhaps we could cap before anything like that happened, but sadly not. Ooh, Drake shot in the belly. Didn't really do much though, honestly. I was less than 10% health gone. Oh, that however was I directed in the stomach. Darn it, missed. Okay, SMG right next to us. We are being repaired, but honestly, we are reloading. Not only that, we don't have many guns, so even when we have reloaded, two shots is all we're going to get. I think this is going to be a loss, but at least a glorious loss with two kills. Damn it, we only one gun left. Well, yeah, we are dead. We can't even fly because our rudders are gone. We are doomed. Hello. Thank you for having lots of legs. Rail. Not going to hit other rails. We're on the same team here. Well, we're not on the same team, but we're so alike. We're akin. Oh, there's no safe spot. There is no safe spot here. Just going to make myself more vulnerable to the rail and the plasma. Just get out of the SMG fire for a second. Still hitting back. We took him down to 69, which is a glorious number to be left on, I suppose. That SMG has it in for me. Ah, I don't know why either. Okay, there goes our death. Wee. Oh. Wee. Oh. Wee. Oh no! Finally dead. Okay. Exit game. I think we did okay there. We do need to learn to move when the plasma is coming towards us. It must be said. But honestly, I didn't feel too too bad about that. There we go. Destroyed, but we got two kills. So I'm happy enough. We were a positive force on the team, and we didn't let our selfish, um, our selfish ambitions cloud our mind. So thank you for watching Sir and Sets. I hope you have enjoyed. This may be the last time we all see the flutter as it is. I'm still not 100% sure what I will be doing to it, but I'm sure I will decide in the very close future. Thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, you are, if, you are, if you enjoyed this video and are, and are enjoying the series, if you could take five seconds to consider hitting the like button, favouriting, sharing, leaving comments, all that good stuff really helps out and they helps out the channel and warms my blackened little heart. Thank you very much for watching Stone Threats and goodbye. Do have a nice day and do take care.